Hi, welcome to my kitchen. My name is Morgan. Today we're gonna to be processing 60 pounds of tomatoes from my garden. I'm just gonna be turning all of these tomatoes into marinara sauce because that's what I use the most of. What I'm gonna be doing is just slicing them up, cutting out any bad spots that I see, and then getting them into my food mill so the food mill can do all of the work for me. And when I have all of the pulp and juice extracted, I'm gonna get it into my roaster oven behind me so that can do the work for me and I don't have to heat up my house with having the stove on. I'm not gonna be adding any extra vegetables to this marinara sauce. I'm just gonna strictly use tomatoes. That way I can ensure the safety of the acidity levels. I'm just gonna be adding some citric acid when I go to jar it up because it'll be like, I think it should be like a half a teaspoon for a quart of tomatoes to ensure safe acidity or you could use lemon juice, which would be two tablespoons, but I have citric acid on hand, so that's what I'm gonna be using. So enough chit-chatting, let's get started. I'm just running all of these tomatoes raw through the food mill with my previous experience of heating them up. And then now with this one of running them just raw through the food mill, I will definitely be heating them up the next time I do any large batch of tomato anything, because running them heated up through the food mill is a lot easier and I don't have to stop and unclog my food mill at all. But with these raw tomatoes, I think I had to stop three times to take my food mill apart, unclog it, and then put it back together again. So definitely heat up your tomatoes when running them through the food mill, especially if you're using any kind of paste tomato. All of my Roma and San Marzano tomatoes really clogged up the food mill without being heated up. I do take the time to run my skins and seeds through the food mill again just because it extracts a lot more juice out of it. The only downside to that is it does clog the food mill, especially with running those tomatoes through raw. I had dinner cooking on the stove behind me. I was frying up some pork sausage and we were gonna have pork sausage and home canned green beans for dinner. My husband had gotten home from work, so if you see me talking to someone, that is just him. I'm talking to him and my baby. If you're wondering why I run my pulp through the food mill another time, this is the first time it comes out. And you can see how liquidy it is and how much moisture is left in it and the, even some pulp. And this is how it comes out after I run it through again and it's almost bone dry and there's not near as much pulp on it as the first time it comes out. So that's why I run it through a second time. I had it cooking down while I was processing all of the tomatoes, but this is how much 60 pounds of tomatoes fills your roaster oven. So now I'm adding Italian seasoning, onion powder, garlic powder, white ground pepper, black pepper, that's freshly ground, I just grind it myself, and salt, making sure it's non-iodized. And now I'm just giving it all a good stir. You can feel free to add whatever spices you want to your canning project. Spices do not change your acidity level. And last but not least, I'm adding some bay leaves in. I blend my own Italian seasoning 
instead of buying it at the store, I just use basil, parsley, oregano, and thyme. Now I'm adding a little bit of sugar to offset the acidity. I had this cooking down for about 15 hours in total. I started at 7.30 the previous evening and pulled it out of the roaster oven around 10.30 a.m. So whenever you're canning tomatoes, you wanna to make sure that you're following an approved canning recipe. I feel comfortable canning this tomato sauce like it is because I'm strictly only using tomatoes. I'm not adding any extra vegetables to it because I wanna ensure safe acidity levels. When you start adding garlic and onions and peppers and whatever else you wanna add, you can hit a gray area of whether you need to pressure can or water bath can. And since I'm only water bath canning, I stuck to just plain tomatoes and spices. When deciding on your acidifier, you can either use lemon juice or citric acid. You can find citric acid at your local grocery store or even your farm and home store. When canning pints of tomatoes, you're going to use a quarter of a teaspoon. And when canning quarts, you'll use half a teaspoon. And when using lemon juice for pints, you'll use one tablespoon. And when canning quarts, you'll use two tablespoons of lemon juice. I had my jars warming up in the canner behind me, so now I'm getting it all filled up. I added one half teaspoon of citric acid per quart jar, and then I filled my jars to half an inch of headspace, got the rims wiped down, got a new lid on, and put the ring on, and got it in the canner. And I'm going to be processing it for 45 minutes. If anybody knows a good way to get all of this like burnt on tomato gunk easily off of my roaster oven, can you leave a comment down below? All I'm doing right now is just letting it soak in hot water and trying to scrub off as much as possible. But if y'all have an easy way to get it off, please let me know. Our canner is up to a rolling boil, so I'm gonna set my timer for 45 minutes. Our jars had processed for 45 minutes. I let them sit with the heat off and lid off for five minutes, and now I'm getting them out of the canner, and then I will be getting the second batch in and going. I forgot to add vinegar to my water to prevent all of the mineral buildup on my jars, so I'm making sure to add it for this second round. of tomatoes and 18 hours later we got 12 quarts of marinara sauce. I forgot to add vinegar to this first round of tomato sauce that I put into the canner so there is some mi mineral build up on the side of my jars but that'll just wipe off especially if you take some vinegar on a rag and just wipe it down it'll come off easily. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe. Thanks! Bye!